Okay, so you can see here, maybe we can zoom to fit again. So at this side, we have a very high water cut area. And yeah, basically this field has very high water cut, but don't forget we can also move. We can start from the beginning of the production and then we can let's play. So we will move across time. You can do this to move step by step for you, but you can also click on forward. So we will move across time here. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe we can fast forward. Okay. All right, so maybe Okay, just wait. Still empty, still white, maybe because we have no data at that period of time, 63. You can also see the date here. We are moving across time. 66, the year 66. Okay, now we have the data. And you can see how the water cut changes over time. We have good oil here, right? Red color. As we drill more, more wells, we find a good place where we have more oil there. That's why you can see we have the dynamics here. Sometimes oil good there, sometimes oil good there. And now we tend to have high water cut as the field becomes more and more mature. But still good opportunity at this site. We have red color, green color. But at this site, at the right side, the eastern part, we have, you know, high water cut. Maybe we have aquifer from that side. Again, we skip all the technicality because it's not our reservoir, right? Okay. Still in 81. All right, at this side, it's good. Low water cut in this area. Year 84. You can also pause, okay, and then play again. You can also click on this button so that you can instantly go to the last time, time step. And this button, if you want to go to the, the first time step. Okay, we are in the year 90. We are in 90s right now. Almost there. Right, so grid map is very good. If you have sufficient data, you can generate the this grid map for your variables, water cut, maybe pressure if you have the data imputed in the OFM already. You can also create grid map for Cumulative production, something like that. All right. GOR, flow rate, oil cut, right? All right. So we have arrived at the last time step. Again, you can minimize or maximize. You can do many things. And of course, you can use this to support your maybe your justification to describe your reservoir. And I don't know, you can, you can do many things you can explain a lot of things maybe using grid map so this tool will help you a lot as long as you have sufficient data and as long as you 
have backup data, backup information from maybe from the geology aspect of your reservoir. Okay, but in this video, we just focus more on the utilization of the, the tool within this reservoir. Okay, so I think that's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next OFM videos. Thank you.